Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, we've seen people live in all sorts of sized houses just to call the Lone Star State home. And that's definitely the case up in Spur, where we found some of the smallest homes we've ever seen. Since 1909, Spur, Texas has been a small spot on the Lone Star State map. About an hour east of Lubbock, this part of the panhandle has been particularly quiet. The population has steadily decreased over the years, but now this town of a thousand is becoming a little hot spot. Generated quite a bit of interest. John Schmidt grew up here and has a heck of a title for a part-time employee. Code enforcement officer for the city of Spur. Sounds dangerous. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man with a plan when it comes to a popular new place to live. And we're not talking palaces, we're talking pint-sized homes. Are these small houses something you could ever see yourself living in? No, sir. <laughs> no, I'm more of a bigger house type person. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being small in stature, these structures are not being spurned in spur. I see the, a resurgence in the town. You got, you got people paying taxes buying lots, they want to get away from the big uh, cities, the high taxes, the hustle and bustle, the traffic, stuff like that. As far as it's a nice, quiet little town to do it in. Everything you expected? Beyond, beyond what I expected. Denise Rosner came from New York through LA to settle down in a simpler style of life. So uh, what's a gal like you doing in a town like this? Gal like me is uh, retired early because of a town like this. Well, what's it like to have a New Yorker in town? Well, I've dealt with them. My brother's married to a Bostonian, so it's not much difference. <laughs> Jacose jokes aside, Denise is right at home, living in the one town that would allow her to have this small scale lifestyle. This is a breath of fresh air, literally fresh air. <laughs> they call Montana big sky country. It has nothing on this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> Carol Hafter also came from Cali, and her house is half the size of Denise's. So your house will be how big? Uh, 216, 12 feet by 18 feet. Carol bought her pint-sized parcel sight unseen and got to work building her own home as soon as she arrived. Was there any hesitation, any shock, no, anything? No, no, I love it here, I love it. I, I came here to build a tiny house. Excuse me, sir. I had no idea I would actually fall in love with Texas and spur. What's it like to build a kind of build your own house? And have oh a my gosh, it's a kick. I love it. I mean, everybody should do it at least once. <laughs> everybody should do it at least once. Spur's still the first to do it and has done it, and it's paid off big time for them. Danny Schallenberg is a small home builder and says these homes usually run between thirty-five and forty-five thousand dollars. The smallest sits at eighty-three square feet. People are downsizing their life, they're downsizing their possession, they're downsizing their car, they're downsizing their house, they're downsizing their taxes, and it's working. For me, the tiny house thing is about getting down to the essence of life. You know, what is, what is important? What do you really need? That's what tiny house is. You know, getting down to the essence of what's really important. Only the things that matter. Kitchen. Kitchen. The stairs. The stairs to the Storage upside. stairs. This is my pantry. Fancy. I was too young to get Social Security and too old to start working and start a new career and I just looked at what I could do with my finances and what I wanted to do and what I wanted to do was not have to work anymore and to retire early. You got everything you need? I got everything I need. And how many square feet? 440 square feet. That's amazing. These homes have everything you'd expect. Bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, loft storage and all sorts of scenery. But they're also sort of a tourist stop for a curious crowd. We had people coming from all over Texas, driving here to Spur to see what we're doing. We get a lot of people who come through um, because they're curious to see how is that possible? How are you living in that amount of size? And I will say that this house does surprise everybody. There are always people driving by. A woman went by just now with her phone doing this. Swear to God, right out the window. Did you see it? Yes, <laughs> While many see these small homes as an oddity, they're oddly quite homey, bringing people from across the country closer together in this small Lone Star State town, committed to making tiny homes a tangible choice in Texas. The Spur is the only place so far. We're hoping that um, 
if we can do it, other small towns can do it as well and make more room for the hundreds of thousands of people who economically need to do something like this. Is it for everybody? No. Do I want it to be for everybody? No. But it is going to be for a lot of people. Uh, I believe that. It's going to be a sight one of these days, I honestly believe. I want people to see this. I want, to, I want people to see that there's another way to live, that we don't have to have all this stuff. Because that's what I was doing, that's what a lot of Americans are doing now, is they're paying mortgages and rents for stuff. I'm just a small town girl at heart, I think, you know? Oh, welcome to Texas. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it, I appreciate it.